بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد from some of the beautiful statements of the Salaf of this Ummah the Sahaba al Kiram رضي الله تعالى عنهم أجمعين is some of the sayings of Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and some of his statements according to Sheikh Al-Imam Al-Allama Ibn Al-Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala a man in the company of Abdullah bin Mas'ud said I do not wish to be from amongst the companions of the right hand I wish to be from amongst the muqarrabun, those who are brought close to Allah. So Abdullah said, But here is a man who wishes that if he died, he would not be resurrected from fear of Allah. And he was speaking about himself. He left his house one day and people followed him. So he said to them, Is there anything that you need? They said, No, but we want to walk with you. He said, Go back, because it is lowly and dishonorable for the follower and a fitna for the one being followed. He also said, If you knew about me what I know about myself, you would pour sand over my head. None of you should make tak taklid, mean blindly follow, another taklid to another man in regards to his religion. If he, the one being followed, believes, then he believes. And if he disbelieves, then he disbelieves. If you had to blindly follow someone, then take those who have passed away as examples. For indeed those who are alive are not from are not safe from fitna. Look for your heart in three places. One, when you are listening to the Quran. Number two, in the circles of remembrance or dhikr of Allah. And number three, and when you are alone. If you don't find it in these places, then ask Allah to bless you with a heart, for indeed you have no heart. Indeed, people have become proficient in speech. So he who has deeds are in accordance with his speech, then he is the one that will attain his portion of reward. And he whose deeds are in opposition to his speech, then he is the one that only rebukes himself. Truly, I believe that a man forgets knowledge that he once possessed due to a sin that he practices. And knowledge is not narrating a lot, but knowledge is fear of Allah. Those are just some of the benefits we get from Ibn al-Qayyum and Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with al-nafiyah, rizqan tayyibah, wa amalimu taqabbilan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.